And now to a top story we've been following all day. A second anti-abortion activist surrenders over charges stemming from videos against Planned Parenthood. Yesterday it was Susan Merritt. Today it was David Daleiden. The, they, he surrendered to Harris County authorities this morning and faced a judge for the first time. Here are the two mug shots of the suspects. Daleiden smiling when police took his picture. Channel 2's Phil Archer is at the Harris County Criminal Justice Center with his reaction to those charges. Phil? Well, we learned today that the DA has offered a form of probation called pretrial diversion on both charges, but Daleiden's attorneys say they won't accept it. They insist the charges should be dropped. Daleiden is charged with tampering with a government document and offering to buy human body parts. One a felony, the other a misdemeanor charge that on conviction carry punishment of up to 20 years behind bars. His attorneys say they'll ask to have those charges thrown out. We believe the indictments are uh, uh, factually and legally insufficient, and uh, I think uh, after we make those arguments and show it at that time, uh, it's more, you know, old expression in Texas, all hat, no cattle. That's what we believe these indictments are. There's not much to them. Dayladen and associate Sandra Merritt allegedly manufactured fake California driver's licenses to help convince Houston Planned Parenthood executives they were representatives of a medical firm seeking to purchase fetal tissue. Dayladen secretly videotaped the meeting last April, then released an edited version, claiming it proved Planned Parenthood was seeking to profit from the sale of human body parts. I'm very grateful for all the support from the public, especially from the people of Houston, who are out here to send a strong message that Houston's children and their body parts are not for sale by Planned Parenthood. But a grand jury found no wrongdoing by Planned Parenthood and instead indicted Dayladen and Merritt. Dear God, please be pleased with David and Sandra. Anti-abortion protesters gathered outside the courthouse today to denounce the charges as politically motivated. And we stand with him and we support him and we want him to know um, that we're all behind him. The protesters delivered logs, they say, contain the names of 110,000 people who have signed petitions urging the DA to drop the charges. After his indictment, District Attorney Devin Anderson said she too opposes abortion, but that she couldn't let her personal feelings interfere with her oath of office. A spokesman today said probation, the offer of probation to both Dayladen and Merrick, is common in the case of first time offenders. Reporting live downtown at the Harris County Courthouse, I'm Phil Archer, KPRC Channel 2 News.